Okay, uh, so this is a probability distribution question, and this is essentially all they've given us. A company is randomly calling phone numbers in your exchange. Um, they want to know what's the probability that, let's say that your phone number gets called. Um, well, we're in Toronto here, so we have one, two, three. This is our area code, right? And at first glance, I kind of thought that's what they were talking about within my area code. Um, there's also um, the first three digits of a phone number, and then there's the final four digits of a phone number. And it turns out, after reading that, um, this would be considered your exchange. Okay, And what they mean by in your exchange, that means that these numbers here, okay, anybody within your exchange has the exact same three starting numbers. Okay, so. Um, let's kind of do a comparison here, first of all. A phone number, you have 10 digits. You have anywhere from 0 to 9 to choose, which means there's essentially 10 choices, okay? So an area code alone ends up with a thousand different choices, a thousand different numbers, if we just had three. Then we have our exchange, as they call it, which again is from 0 to 9, so you have another 10. So it's kind of like you're doing a thousand times a thousand. There's lots of different options. But because they said that they're only calling people from our exchange, none of this is relevant. None of that stuff is relevant because what they're saying is all these numbers are the same and they just want to know what's the probability of dialing your number in your exchange. And that is strictly dealing with the last four digits. Okay? Um, I never really heard it explained that way, but that's the way they're trying to word this question. So, um, we just have to focus on the last four digits. So really what they're asking is, what's the probability of them randomly landing on your four digits, okay? Well, same concept. There is zero to nine, which is 10 digits. So we have 10 by 10 by 10 by 10, which is like when we talked about with our, um, it's essentially our denominator. We're multiplying the total number of options. So how many phone numbers do you hold? Well, we're going on the assumption that you only have one phone number, okay? Nowadays, it could be very possible to have more, but we'll say in your exchange, okay, that you only have one phone number. And then on the bottom, uh, the different digits, well, there's a 10 by 10 by 10 by 10. This is how we calculate our denominator, which is a, the equivalent of 10 to the power of 4. So what's the probability that they land on yours? Well, 10 to the power of 4, or 10 times itself 4 times, is 10,000. So the probability that they will randomly land on your number is a 1 in 10,000 chance. Let's actually try to apply some kind of formula to our thinking here. So now that we've established that they're really just looking for four digits, okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, um, each of these digits here, okay, um, you have a phone number. And we're just going to randomly apply some numbers. Uh, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1. Not very random, but very possible that that's your phone number. Um, so if those are your last four digits, what we're looking for, just like if we're talking about rolling a die or something, if I was just to randomly choose a number, my probability is set to, um, your probability is essentially a 1 in n chance. And n is the number of options. Okay. So to dial your very first digit, I'm going to move this out of the way here, um, your digit being a 4, well, all of the options are 0 to 9. So that means there are 10 options, and you're the number 4. Well, there is a 1 in 10 chance that they dial the number 4. Um, then for the next number, because it's independent, this number could also be four. It's not like they're not allowed to repeat or anything like that. Um, there's also 10 different digits they can choose. What's the probability they dial the three that is your number? Well, it is again one in 10. Okay. Um, and that process repeats two more times. You have 10 digits and 10 digits. Probability they dial a 2 is 1 in 10. The probability they dial a 1 is 1 in 10. And we can use this relationship. So again, we end up with 1 in 10,000. You can kind of show this, and it's hard to show with a tree diagram because there are so many options. But I'll just show you the beginning of it. Imagine they're dialing the first digit of a phone number. Okay, There are 10 options. So 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, seven, 
bit more, eight, nine, 10. So the options are the number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and not 10, but zero. Zero is the digits. And each of these have a one in 10 chance. I can write it all the way down. Do, 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 do. Every one of those has a one in 10 chance. Well, once we've dialed the first number, the tree diagram gets even more complex. From here, okay, let's imagine they dialed, actually, no, what did we say your number was? We said it was four, okay. So we're at four here. Let's say they got four. Well, from four, there's again another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's another ten numbers they can dial. So this tree diagram uh, continues for another spot and another spot. The idea is there's ten here, one in ten here, one in ten here, one in ten here. Um, so this would be a way of using maybe a tree diagram or the formula of 1 over n to kind of describe that relationship. Asks yeah. us, what's the probability that the last four digits um, will all be the same? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 spots here. Um, and again, we have the numbers 0 to 9 in each. Okay. Now, you would think that the probability of all four being the same, well, we calculate this times this times this times this, um, which is exactly what we did in our, our last one. But the thing is, this digit here, it doesn't matter what they choose from 0 to 9. So we actually don't count the probability of the first of the four digits. I'll number them, 1, 2, 3, 4. We don't count that one because... Whether they choose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever it is, the only thing that's important is that the next three digits repeat that. Okay? So it, it, this, this is of no significance in this question. Whatever number they choose, let's say they, they have a rotary phone and they put their finger down and roll it. Actually, I don't know if you know what a rotary phone is, but uh, let's say they, they do that and they come up with the number 7. Great. 7 is great. It didn't matter. What's important now is that this is a 7, this is a 7, and this is a 7. And then what's the probability of getting a 7 in all of these options? Well, because we know probability is calculated by um, 1 in the number of outcomes, we know there are 10 possibilities. And if you're choosing a 7, you have a 1 in 10 chance, a 1 in 10 chance, and a 1 in 10 chance. Well, it's 1 in 10 times 1 in 10 times 1 in 10. That means there is a 1 in 1,000 chance, okay, that they have the four digits are all repeating numbers, okay?